a problem with buying clothes, wearing it once, and then never wearing it again. And then it sits in my closet for like a good few years, and I never touch it again. So I usually have my annual clean out of my closet, but today I really want to hound down and get rid of as much stuff as possible. It's starting to overflow a little bit. I do want to buy more clothes, obviously. <laughs> I've been kind of putting it off because I ran out of coat hangers and that's like the laziest thing ever to not go and buy more coat hangers, but I can't be bothered. So I'm going to clear out my old clothes and replace it with new clothes and put it on my coat hangers. If you can't tell, I am sick. I got COVID. Here is my proof. Um, and I'm really upset about it. It's nearly actually December, which is crazy. I like took the whole month off posting TikToks. It's starting to warm up now, so I need to obviously test out my summer clothes. But I'm hoping when it comes to summertime, I'm gonna get my hot girl summer body. <laughs> I just want abs. I wore this at my auntie's wedding, I'm pretty sure, which was probably like seven or eight years ago. So I think this is like the oldest thing in my closet. <laughs> this is such a prepubescent dress of mine to wear. I don't hate it. I'm like not a fan, but it's very pretty. I really like this like front piece, how it kind of folds. Maybe I keep it. <laughs> It'll be like eight years going strong with this outfit on. This is an end to an era. I loved this dress so much and I like wore it so many times as well. You know when you have one dress that you just constantly wear out because you only own one dress? This was it. This was her. Let's stay on the theme of dresses. I love this dress so much but the only downfall it's quite short. I really like how it's all elastic and it kind of tightens when it hits your body. I did get it altered but just not like the lengthwise. So let's let's just see. I think this is cute. I think I want to keep it. I haven't grown too much so I think I can get away with it because like the back i mean i can't see the back you can see the back but i think it's okay it shapes my body quite nice it's a very summery pretty dress i've worn this again this is one of those dresses you wear like twenty thousand times i really like this dress i'm gonna keep it i don't own a lot of dresses so this video might be quite short i color coordinate my closet i used to have just like a section of all my dresses in one spot and then like t-shirts jumpers all of that and then i changed it to the colors how do you coordinate your closet like what's the right way to do it I feel like it's color because I always want to go to like get an outfit for the day. I want to match colors. The actual pieces, you know, they can change. That's fine. So I want to know, comment down below. <laughs> I actually love this dress so much and I just want to show it off. I'm definitely keeping this. I already know just the color. It's so bright and it pops so well. I think it really complements my face. It's almost like a corset at the back as well, which I think is really gorgeous. It doesn't go down to the end of my feet, but I think it looks really pretty anyways. Sometimes I'm a bit iffy about when I'm tall and I wear a dress that doesn't go down to my feet. It's a bit of an ick, but this dress actually looks really nice when it doesn't. You know, like a white shoe, black shoe, can really pair like whatever accessories on, silver, gold. Okay, this one I've never worn before. It was a hand-me-down and I already know it's not going to look good. I have tried it on before and it just, it was too big. The size was too big. So I'm going to just put it on for your sake, for your entertainment. But I already know I need to get rid of it. I'm just a plain girly, okay? I don't own any crazy dresses. See, the way that this just doesn't suit my body. If it was cinched in a little bit more like that. That would be really pretty. But this was like a really big trend, this dress. Everyone was wearing this dress out. I feel like that's gonna bring back those vibes and we need to move on. So I'm gonna get rid of it, unfortunately. This one is very pretty as well. And I am gonna keep her. I'm not gonna put it on because it is such an effort to get on. For dresses, it's normally like a size eight to 10. This dress is a size four. When I put it on, it fits and it looks really nice. I'll put a photo of when I've worn it before, but like, Getting this on now is going to be a whole workout and I just don't feel like it, okay? Remember, I'm sick. <laughs> but when you put it on, it looks so good. This is from Perfect Stranger. A lot of my clothes are either Perfect Stranger or Lioness. This is from Lioness as well. If I go out to a brand event, I don't want to wear the same thing twice. So normally I'll like buy the dress, wear it, take it back, get a refund, buy another dress. So like the displays I'm showing you today, there's not a lot. They've made it into my closet, they've made the cut because generally like I don't keep the clothes. My other half of my wardrobe is black and white clothes. And I own a lot of black. So obviously there's a whole side dedicated to that. This is just like a classic black dress. Um, So I like to stuff about five different bras in my boobs area. It's just a really nice and elegant dress. I think it's supposed to be full length, but my legs are too long. So it kind of ends at a bit of an awkward length. I still like the dress. It looks very pretty. It slims my body in quite nicely as well. Because I feel like you could make a cute little uni fit. You get the vibe? Kind of? I'm not sure. But sneakers and like a little handbag as well. 
off to uni after i buy all of my stuff though i'll probably do a big haul of everything kind of style it up a little bit i want to post random stuff like i just want to start posting random stuff on this account my tiktok is my tiktok is more makeup which i love doing makeup but it also takes a long time so sometimes i like to take a break from it but i think youtube will be more dedicated to me specifically i've made like a few youtube videos i just haven't posted them yet but I think I will start doing that. If I'm bedridden again for like two days, I think I will have some time. <laughs> I think I'll have some time to do stuff. Subscribe, like, I don't know what these YouTubers say. 